<clears throat> Cooking up Buddy's drumsticks, boiling his chicken. Because this is what he does when he gets dog food. <clears throat> this is what he does when he gets dog food. He refuses to eat it. I didn't have nothing for us for this morning. And uh, when that lady gave us the money, I went and I bought the, some food for us and got an emergency thing of dog, you know, dog food for him to eat because I knew he was hungry. Nope, he refuses to eat it. And I forgot cheese. God help us, we forgot cheese. we will probably never eat till I get cheese again. Well, easy come, easy go, as they always say. I was the top dasher for a couple weeks. <laughs> and now I'm not. Now I lost it. Yep. Now I lost it. Now I gotta schedule again. Oh my god. Okay, well. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, alright. Yep. And it happened. Yep. The orders aren't that good, and I'm not going to be taking no two, three dollar orders. Um, darn it. <laughs> Alright, I am back in Quartzsite, back at a, a fire with Roy and Becky and all them, and I'm following Becky and her friends to be able to go to Lori's Way's birthday party. We're all having issues with power today. Apparently I'm not the only one. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll post more later if I can. I have battery on my cell phone. There's, there's Lori right there. Alright, see you later. Bye bye. Thank you. Awesome yeah, it's oh look how pretty. Look at that. It almost looks like mm -hmm. an arrowhead. Oh yeah, it does. But I don't think it is. Yeah. It, look how it's got a knot. So I don't mm -hmm. know if it broke like that or what. Yeah. It's a piece of shell, I think. But this is interesting. What right? it's on top of it. Mm -hmm. It looks like an owl's head, like eyes and a nose. Oh yeah. See? See? See in the camera? Oh, see in the camera? Oh. You can actually see it better. In the camera, oh, you can see the so eyes cute. and there the. You have an owl now. <laughs> okay, so when the little thing inside of the fuse is broke, the little bridge thingy, that means your fuse blew. So my fuse blew. And he also says not to be charging my blue eddy with the minivan because it can't handle it. Right? Yep. Yeah. Which one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, Ronnie, 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 for the life. He's a lifesaver. He is a lifesaver. See when that little bridge inside of there breaks? That's when your fuse is blown. And that's why I could not do any door dashing because I can't charge my phone. And then when my fuses were in the wrong spot, yep, is is that one and a twenty. And my minivan can't handle the blue eddies. I don't know why people keep on thinking that you can charge blue eddies with your car. Do people have stronger fuses that allow them to charge their power stations in their minivans and, nope. and cars? Put one up there too big because it's too hot to catch on fire. Catch on fire. Oh, shit. And see, mine's a, what, 800? So, yeah, it was probably, yeah. Yeah. So. Tina Lindquist, no matter what I do, I am not charging my Blue Eddy with the van. I'm at the laundromat that has a shower. 
perfectly clean. Pretty good. Bathrooms are good. Super. I have my laundry in the washing machine over here. Taking Buddy for a short little walk on Main Street. I'm at the Main Street laundromat where they have showers and all that stuff. So, yeah. We're doing it. Yep, we're doing it. Say beauty salon. So gonna get a five dollar shower. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, hi Jolly Cemetery. That's pretty cool. Okay. What does that say? A memory of George Connor, son of George and Hazel Connor. November 22nd, 1980, he was born. And of course, the little plant is covering up the day he died. <laughs> so, this is. A cemetery. Oh. oh my goodness, look at there's more tombstones. Okay. The famous cal camel herd was high jolly. Wow. So he was a camel herder. Mm-hmm. Dedicated to the memory of a kindly dead desert man, philosopher, co woodworker, wise and loyal friend, Joseph Fremont Cohn. He was born in 1892 and he died in 1971. This is a total cemetery. There's all kinds of people in here. I think a lot of World, uh, World War veterans and all that from here. The last camp of High Jolly, born somewhere in Syria about 1828. Died at court site December 16th of 1902. Came to this country February 10th of 1856. Camel driver, packer, scout, over 30, over, over 30, sorry, over 30 years. A faithful aide to the U.S. government. Arizona Highway Department, 1935. This is a total cemetery with all kind of graves. I mean, just all, all kind of. I think a lot of them were, um, were veterans and stuff. Were what? Veterans. Yes. It looks like there's several. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Did you notice the blue stones in there? Aren't they gorgeous? I don't know if it's that lapis lazuli or um. Uh, I can't think of the name of the other blue stone. Look. Oh my goodness. You need a water? No, but take it anyway because you might need it. If it works, if it works, it, it's it's good. It's 
so this is a total cemetery. Okay. Everett Cowell. So Leslie Cow. So a whole bunch of their family was in here. Because there's a lot of cowls in here. Lillian at rest. Man. To die in quartzite and to be covered with rocks and cement. These people ain't going nowhere. <laughs> That's a horrible thought. That's a horrible thought, Tita. But rocks and cement, they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> hey, this is a whole cemetery. My goodness. You know what I just thought of? When these people died, they're buried with rocks and cement, so they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> their bodies, <laughs> they ain't coming up from this Look at at all. Look at beautiful rocks. Look at this. And look at that mm -hmm. green one right there. Mm -hmm. Look at this old, uh, look at this old um, wooden. Oh yeah. Can't even read it anymore. A plot 67. Yeah. Uh, Jose Maria, Sayas Jose Maria, uh, 1883. Very cool. <laughs> and you never been here yet? Look at these neat tombstones. Look at the artwork on this tombstone. It's flowers with almost looks like a heart. Almost looks like a heart with the valves and then flowers around it. Oh yeah. What is that? Chaz V born January 17th. Yeah. Well, he died in 1930. Look at the, the turquoise. Aww. It's beautiful. His name was Charlie. Oh, look at this, look at this stone. You'll really like this. Look at this one. Look at how pretty. Look at, look at. Oh, it's it, what? It looks oh. like cards. It looks like a deck of cards. And then like a star on top of a brick, brick wall. Why would you do all that and then put a deck of cards? I'm just saying it looks to me like it a deck of cards. It does look like a deck of cards. Deck of cards. And then like they tried to make a star and then screwed it up. And then the brick wall. See they have brick wall up there to too. Tombstones. Mine, I don't know. That is cool by the pot mm -hmm. and the sky and stuff. Really and look at over here. They painted um what are those thingies? Cactus. Cactuses. My, my my brain couldn't come up with the word. Look at how cute quartz. Cool. So someone. Yeah. That's cool. Oh my goodness! See. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it goes way back there. This thing is huge. Oh, wow, it is. I guess so. I guess he was he the first one buried here. I guess maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that now? Is that where he's buried, or is he buried somewhere else? He's actually buried in that thing, that pyramid. Okay, just making sure. It's hired in eighteen.
Came to this country February 10th of 1856. Camel driver, packer, scout. Over 30 years, a faithful aide to the government. Arizona Highway Department, 1935. Born somewhere in Syria, but died at Quartzsite December 16th, 1902. Oh. He was born in 1828. Yeah. Yep.